Hello cats and kitties, it's Terry Lee here. And welcome to another video. And today, I probably should have a Santa hat on because today we're going to do something that has to do with Christmas. Now I know I'm a little late. I should have done Christmas in July because that's a thing. But I'm winding up doing Christmas in August and I guess that's okay. If you like Christmas the way I do, Christmas in any month is okay. And what I've got to show you today is a box of ornaments. And they are called Squishmallows. Now, some of you might know what squishmallows are. They are stuffed animals that are made in the shape. Well, they're not just stuffed animals. They also have uh, foods and sh in the shape of food. But they're mostly in the shape of marshmallows. Um, or marshmallows, I guess you should say. Growing up here in the South, we always said marshmallows. But I think the true pronunciation is marshmallows. Anyway, they are shaped like marshmallows, and they are all sizes. They come in 4-inch sizes, 8-inch, and even 14-inch. Um, my daughter and myself both have a 14-inch one. Hers is a unicorn, and mine is an octopus. And, yeah, I love stuffed animals. Even at my age, I love stuffed animals. And there went my black cat, Casey. So, he's the one in the video today, apparently, Casey's going to be. Casey, do you want to be in the video? He's like, I don't think so, Mama. And I think I want to look around at other things, and that's okay. All right, so let's get started at looking at these marshmallow, Christmas, marshmallow, excuse me. You can take the girl out of the South, but you can't take the Southern out of the girl. And um, these marshmallow Christmas ornaments. So here we go. We're going to open the box and we'll start with the first one, which is this cute, adorable little penguin. They all come with a tag that tells their birth date. And all of these were born in 23. This is the 2023 edition of marshmallows, of Christmas marshmallows. And as you can see, he's got a little wreath and he's got stitching around his little arms and his nose is stitched and his eyes are stitched. And these are really well made. Um, and this one's name is Luna. They all have a name. And this one's name is Luna. And isn't she cute? She's got her little bow up here that she's ready to hang by the tree. She's ready to hang by a branch on the tree. And my cat is snipping her right now. I don't know if you can see that. But isn't she cute? So there's Luna. And I'm going to have to put my kitty in the floor. He's decided that he's going to be in the way. Say hi to Casey. Casey, say hi. Say hi to all the people. He's my sweet boy. He's going to go in the, in the floor now because he's very in the way. Okay, our next Squishmallow, and another reason um, that they're called Squishmallows, not because they're just in a marshmallow form, but also they're very squishy. Now, they're not the kind of squishy that you hold and it goes back, but they are the kind of squishy that feels really nice and soft. And this is a peppermint, and its name is Dulce, according to the, the uh, tag, which I believe means sweet in Spanish, Dulce. And he, she looks, what color is she? She looks like one of those star peppermints that you see at Christmas time that's got the red and the white and the green in it. And she feels so velvety and soft. All of these feel velvety and soft. They have like a velvet almost feel to them. Like a velour. I guess velour would be a better way of saying it. 
And of course, her little smile is stitched and her little eyes are stitched. And she has a green ribbon that she hangs by. And of course, she has a little card too that tells all about her. So that's Dulce. And our next one, um, my daughter renamed this one because it had an odd name for a Christmas tree. It was Liama, Leama. So, um, not that that's an odd name, if that's your name, but it just seemed like, I don't know, she wasn't sure about it for a Christmas tree. So we renamed this one Star. So this is Star, the Christmas tree. And as you can see, she has little bulbs on her. And she's got um, tinsel on her going all the way around. And she's got this cute little gold star right at the top. Isn't that cute? A little five-pointed star. She has a green ribbon to hang by. There you go. And of course she's squishy. See if we can do some fabric sounds. Maybe a little bit. These don't make a lot of sounds, for which I'm sorry, but I just wanted to show them to you so much. These are four inches, so they're the four inch size, and I can't wait to put these on our tree. Our tree this year, we have themed trees um, and rotating themes. And our theme this year is um, whimsical. So I think these will be so cute on a whimsical tree. Our next one is this cute little gingerbread man. And his name is Jordan. That's the name on his little name tag. And look at him. He's got so much going on. He's got these cute soft little earmuffs going on. These are so soft. And then he's got his bow tie, which is stitched on, and his buttons. He's got little bits of icing coming down the side here. He's got a sweet little smile in his eyes. And he is just as cute as he can be. I love his little bow tie. And I love the fact that it is green and his buttons are red. And his earmuffs are red and white, so he's really got the Christmas thing going on here. And his little ribbon is, is it red? It's more kind of a brownish color, isn't it? Yeah, it's more, it more matches him, more matches the cookie color. So here he is, hanging from his little ribbon. And he is just as cute as he can be. We love him. Okay, so that's Jordan. Get him back in his little compartment. And the next thing we've got is Darla. And Darla, as you can tell, is a reindeer. She's got her little tag. And she is precious. She too has earmuffs on. And you can see she's got her little antenna, right, or not antenna, excuse me, good heavens, she's got her little um, antlers right here, antenna, where did I even get that, her little antlers are right here, and she's got this cute little scarf on, it goes all the way around to the back, and it's got little stitching right here for the fringe, and it's She's just as cute as she can be. She's got her little stitched nose and her eyes. She's got little, little eyelashes right there. Isn't she precious? I love her. She's just adorable. And she has, too, a kind of a little brown ribbon that kind of matches her color. So there she is, hanging by her ribbon. And her little cheeks. We can't forget her little rosy cheeks. Maybe she's been out playing in the snow and her cheeks have gotten rosy. She's so precious. Okay, so we've got her. The next one we have coming up is my favorite, I do believe. And 
Look at this. We've got a hot chocolate. He had an interesting name. Seavey, I believe. Anyway, we named him Coco. So, isn't he cute? He's, or I guess maybe it's a she because of the little, little red, little red uh, cheeks here. I'm not sure. But it's so adorable. And this little thing at the bottom reminds me of the thing that they put around coffee cups so you can hold them when they're hot. So it kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if that's what it's meant to be or not. But we've got chocolate spilling over right here. We've got whipped cream with little sprinkles. Little red and green sprinkles. We've got a little bit of holly right there. Isn't that cute? A little holly leaf. And this is adorable. We've got a candy cane. I don't know if you guys have ever had a candy cane that you stir hot chocolate with and it melts into the hot chocolate. But oh my gosh, that is so good. If you haven't tried that, totally try putting a peppermint stick or a candy cane in your hot chocolate and stirring it and let it melt down into it. It's really good. So she's got, or he, I'm not sure, we'll say she, has got a white ribbon that matches her, her whipped cream. And she'll hang like this on the tree. But this is my favorite. This is my favorite one because I love hot chocolate. I love mochas. Maybe she's a mocha. We never know. She might be a mocha. But I love hot drinks in the winter time. And so I think it's just adorable. There's the back. That's one of the things I like about the Squishmallows. They, they decorate all the way around. And I'll show you what I mean with this fella. We named him Marshmallow. His name is Marshmallow. And he's got a cute little Santa hat on with a little, little fuzzy on top. Isn't that cute? And the carrot nose is stitched in. Got cute little eyes and a little smile going here. He's a happy snowman. And this cute little blue scarf, it reminds you of the scarf on the reindeer, except hers was red. And this one's blue. Got little buttons here. And the scarf goes all the way around like that. And again, we have the little stitched in fringe here, which just makes it so nice. And these little stitched in touches, I think, are so cute. I just love them. And his ribbon is red to match his hat. And he'll look like that hanging from the tree. And isn't he cute? Okay, guys, we've got one more to show you. And that is, we have a female gingerbread man. I guess you'd call her a ginger girl or a ginger woman. And isn't she cute? And her name is Gina. I had to look at the tags. I couldn't remember. Her name is Gina. She's got this cute little bow in her hair. She's wearing this cute little green suit with fur trim. She's got little red buttons on it. And she's got a little, like I said, a little bow in her hair. And look at this. She's got this little winky face that she's doing. Eyes winking right here, cute little smile. And she too has the little bits of icing coming down that you sometimes decorate your gingerbread, gingerbread men or women with. And she's just so adorable. So what do you guys think of Gina? She's cute, isn't she? And she's made to sort of match Jordan. Jordan and Gina. There, here they are together. Not quite the same shade. Gina's just a little bit darker, but this is them together. They're so cute. Mwah. I'll have them kiss. They're just cute as they can be. And this is how she'll look hanging from the tree. There we 
we go. And that is it for the Squishmallow Christmas ornaments. We'll put them back in their house. Let's see if we can get them back in there. There they are. were super cute and they would be super cute to show you guys so again this is a little bit of a short video but I've got a longer one coming up because the ipsy icon box is on the way and it'll have of course the eight full-size products in it I won't look in the box I will open the box so that I can you know take the cover bring the cover up but I will not look at what's inside I, and again, for usual, I barely remember what I chose. So, I guess it's good that um, they wait a while to send it to me. So that it'll be a surprise for me as well as you guys. Alright, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. Stay hydrated during this heat. The heat is a little crazy. Uh, again, it's hot here. My hair. Yikes. I don't, I don't even know what's going on. But just take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.